Okay, we start this problem as usual by deciding upon our coordinate axes and drawing ourselves a free body diagram. This time the x-axis is in the horizontal direction and the y-axis in the vertical direction. And then on the right hand side of the screen we have our free body diagram. Now the important point to notice in this problem is that the normal reaction force N is not actually equal to the weight of the crate because the 400 Newton force has actually got a component in the vertical direction. So if we resolve the 400 Newton force into two components, one in the vertical direction and one in the horizontal direction as shown now. The next thing to do is to set up our equations of motion. So let's consider first of all the equation of motion in the x direction. Using Newton's second law, the mass times the acceleration in the x direction is equal to the resultant force in the x direction. And looking at the free body diagram you can see that the resultant force is just 400 cos 30 degrees minus the friction force. We then substitute for the friction force in terms of the coefficient of friction and the normal force N. That's our equation one. 